Yes, I'm uh, Rick Cook, that's K-O-C-H. I always have to spell it because I pronounce it many different ways. Been uh, in real estate since uh, 1975. All right. And where are you from? Uh, I'll, I'll say I'm from the Wichita area because that's basically where I worked out of for lo these many years. So to you, what's the difference between exchanging and right, more standard forms of real estate? Well, it's a little hard for me to answer. Um, I was just telling somebody the other day that in my career, I sold one house. Uh, so uh, I was fortunate enough to be introduced into real estate or hired by one of the premier exchange brokers, um, actually in the United States, is one of the founders of the SEC Exchange Group. Um, I had taught both of his kids in a private school there in Wichita, and uh, he hired me, he knew I had a farm background, he hired me actually as a farm and ranch broker. And uh, that's what I did uh, for a number of years, almost exclusively was um, farm and ranch. And uh, then I think I went to my first exchange meeting in um, uh, Lake of the Ozarks in Missouri. And um, been going to marketing meetings ever since. Uh, the first day on the job, uh, Colby Sandlin was the broker, and he gave me a little thin orange book that said that there are 101 ways to make a real estate transaction and cash is one. And I took that home that night and I read it and I thought, God, what a, what a deal. And uh, I, uh, I started off uh, ma making exchanges. Um, I made, when I was with Colby, I, I made uh, one six-legged exchange, six properties. Um, with uh, then when I went out on my own, I made a couple other multi-legged exchanges. One of them, uh, I had uh, it was a five-way. I had uh, 26 people from six states to. Um, and that I needed to get on the paper and to close it. Uh, on that particular one, I started about 10 o'clock in the morning in Wichita with the uh, <coughs> starting the exchange, flew to Denver that afternoon, and the next day went out to Aspen, Colorado to uh, finish, the, uh, finish up the exchange. Um, and that, that was a pretty long and arduous, took me over six months to put that thing together, but I got paid well. I, I love it. I, I love the exchange um, industry. And why? Um, it's because it's, um, to me, it's, it's a challenge to bring different people, different properties together and, and um, get them all to fit and everybody go home happy, including me. <laughs> um, so I know you kind of answered this, but if you can think of any, what are some of the benefits of exchanging? Oh, um, <laughs> Of course, the one um, is the uh, the 1031 aspect of it. Um, I was uh, a member of the Academy of Real Estate. Um, the The leader of that group was a man by the name of Warren Hardy, uh, not the president, not that old, but um, Warren had the uh, Academy of Real Estate. Uh, we met all over the country and uh, we had this, these little uh, gold pins that said 1031. And when somebody would ask us, uh, what's the uh, 1031 pin for? Uh, the retort was 1031 is that section of the real estate or the uh, IRS code that allows you to make a profit in real estate and defer the pain of taxes to a later time until you die, whichever you choose. <laughs> You know, it, when, whenever uh, you take a listing, you, you would always ask, you know, if you sold it for cash, what are you going to do with the money? And then, uh, you know, they tell you. And I'd, I, then uh, you'd say, well, suppose I could get you where you want to go. 
without you having to sell and paying the taxes and then go try to buy with what's left. Just to and, cut out the middle man. That's right, which is the United States government. Yeah, that's a, that's one of the primary. And then it, there are t times also when uh, you just, you're just looking for benefits. That's, that's what you do in, in the exchange business. You look for the business. As I say, you try to make everybody happy. Uh, we call this creative real estate. And I suppose uh, uh, the, where you have to be the most creative when you're doing this kind of uh, business is how are you going to get paid? Because a lot of these transactions don't have cash. And therefore, you know, I've taken a lot of different things as a fee. So what's the weirdest thing you've taken as a fee? Uh, that one uh, transaction I told you, the five-legged one, I took a, <coughs> um, an irrigated, irrigation system, uh, one that will irrigate a quarter section of land. I took that as, as a fee, a part of a fee. But uh, um, as I say, I got paid well on that. Well, um, <coughs> one of the best deals for me was... Um, uh, when I did a rolling option on a, a subdivision in the Grand Lake of the Cherokee in Oklahoma, where uh, it was, I'd call it a lost subdivision. There were three uh, members of the, uh, the group. Um, it was an old man, a real estate man, and um, uh, I don't remember what the other one did. But anyway, they had, oh, he was an attorney. And they had these lots down there, and they weren't selling, and so I agreed to take those on a rolling option, and um, I, I exchanged those things for uh, uh, many houses. I exchanged them for a 14-unit 14, 14 uh, townhouse that need, was in need of repair, but then I re we uh, upgraded it and repaired it, and um, uh, that was a very good transaction for me. That's the one thing that I like about it is the fact that we need each other. I need everybody in there. Um, that's how we do our deals. Whereas uh, I call them house jockeys. The house jockeys are, you know, they, they are very, very protective of, of their listing. They're very protective of the client. They don't want to tell you anything about them because you, they're afraid you're going to go steal them uh, or, or something. Whereas this group uh, is, um, I say we all like each other, we all get along, and um, because we need each other, and uh, we're very open, and cre and they're creative. I, I've always said that uh, if you, uh, a group of realtors like this is, or the NCE that meets in uh, Las Vegas, so you take the uh, an IQ test on the people in there, they're going to be way, way above average. Uh, they're smarter than the average bear. <laughs>